In case you guys missed it, when Tool released their latest album, Fear Inoculum, I did a whole week on the band looking at some of their past records and other notable events in their history. And today, I want to revisit Tool, but talk about their feud with radio host Howard Stern. And for this story, we have to go back to the early 90s. Now in 1993, Howard Stern wrote his first book titled Private Parts, and for several years even before his first book came out, Howard was working on a Hollywood script for a character he created called Fartman. But it ended up being scrapped, but eventually Hollywood optioned his book for a movie. Now his 1993 book Private Parts is not completely autobiographical as Stern shares his thoughts on random subjects. But Howard would spend years trying to write his book into a movie, but it finally happened in 1996 when a script was done and the film was shot. In 1997 the film finally came out. Now for you young kids, there was a time when movie soundtracks were a big deal, and to accompany the film, Stern personally chose what song should be on the soundtrack. And the movie's soundtrack was a compilation of his favorite rock songs from his favorite bands, with excerpts from various scenes from the film. There were two songs that even featured Howard Stern on vocals, including Rob Zombie's American Nightmare, which has been Howard's theme song for roughly the last two decades, and Tortured Man, which was co-written by the Dust Brothers, with assistance from Howard's writers, Fred Norris, and his former writer, Jackie the Joke Man Martling. Now, other notable artists on the soundtrack included Deep Purple, Cheap Trick, Ted Nugent, The Ramones, Green Day, and Marilyn Manson. Even Rick Rubin would help produce the record. Now, with the success of the film being a number one box office hit, the album went straight to number one on the Billboard charts in May of 1997, and would go on to sell over a million copies in the US. But there was one song that Stern originally wanted for the soundtrack but had trouble getting clearance for, and that was Tool's cover of the Led Zeppelin song No Quarter, which clocked in around 11 minutes in length. Now that Tool cover was originally recorded in 1994 for a Led Zeppelin tribute record, but it would be removed at the last minute. Now Tool's record label at the time was called Zoo Records, and they agreed to let Howard Stern license the unreleased song for his movie soundtrack, and they even apparently shook hands on the deal, only to discover that the band Tool didn't want their song on the soundtrack. Apparently guitarist Adam Jones objected to it, not because they disliked Stern, but because they didn't like movie soundtracks. Now the band in fact had turned down several offers in the past. Stern believed that Tool not wanting the song to be used was a way for the band to increase their asking price for the song, so the studio offered them more money and they still said no. Embarrassed, Tool's label had to come out and admit that they never had the right to offer the song to Stern's movie unless they had the band's permission. And Stern would have to find another song that could replace the Led Zeppelin cover. And Stern would even address the controversy to Rock Flash magazine in 1997 saying F Tool and F Zoo, I don't care if you print that, they're a-holes. A day later, Stern ordered his producer to apparently remove Tool's music from his on-air lead-ins. Now things wouldn't end there though, as it was rumored that Stern had rejected Tool frontman Maynard James Keenan's request to come on a show to promote his other band, A Perfect Circle. Now Maynard James Keenan would reveal to Metal Edge magazine in 2007 that it was Stern keeping him off the show, saying, Howard Stern has been keeping me out of his studio for years. I'm not even in New York, and he's talking about how I'm in the lobby wanting to come up to talk to him. And he says, get the guy out of here, and here I am in LA. And more recently, when Tool released their latest record, Fear Inoculum, in 2019, Stern actually talked about listening to the record and how much he liked it, and he once again brought up the feud and criticized Maynard James Keenan for being bummed out that Justin Bieber claimed to be a Tool fan. Now that does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And as always, let me know which topics you'd like to see me cover by responding to the pinned comment down below.